a poem written in real time while being shut out of conversation by a friend of a friend at the Blind Pig Brewery. My friend Megan is sitting next to me at the bar. My friend Megan's friend Lauren is sitting next to her. Megan and I are talking about wealth redistribution or something. Lauren, on the other hand, is wasted. At first, she was only like Robert Downey Jr. wasted, but now she's more like Lou Reed wasted. When Lauren was only like Shia LaBeouf wasted, she thought I was pretty funny. But now that she's like Jimi Hendrix wasted, she does not like me anymore. I know because she keeps telling me. For example, she just said, Eric, I do not like you anymore. I do not like you because of the things you say. And I tell her I feel the same way, and she gets offended because she doesn't realize I'm talking about myself, so she calls me an asshole. Which is fair. I did just come out against polar bears in an argument. I'm not saying we shouldn't try to save them, but they are mean and will eat us. In the time it took my mind to wander back from my ambivalent feelings about polar bears, Lauren has crowded me out of the conversation entirely, pointing at me three times in 45 seconds, saying, this guy, not a fan. So now I am almost entirely devoted to eavesdropping on the couple three stools to my left who either just broke up or just met. But then I hear Lauren talking about wanting to kill herself or... Macklemore winning a Grammy or something depressing like that, and we make eye contact briefly. And it's the type that scares me because suddenly I can see so much of myself in someone who was just talking about death like a friend. But the moment breaks when Lauren looks at me and mouths, this fucking guy, and now I am back to making eye contact with no one, eavesdropping on one conversation per ear. I try not to pay too much attention to Lauren because she is exhausted by life, and if I look at her again, I might never look away because how can someone as myopic as I am ever turn away from introspection disguised as a stranger? But now, the couple to my left are just sitting there like idling trains, so I decide I will look nowhere and that it is Halloween and that I will be a broken periscope again. But then, I hear Lauren talking about scar tissue and I don't know if she means the Red Hot Chili Pepper song or the type of skin that grows when you get singed so deep that normal skin won't cut it and UV rays can't get past the scab, but doctors say it's part of healing. <laughs>